Starkville has a ton of restaurants, grills, pubs, diners, buffets, whatever you need. But in this city, there's only one tavern, Dave's Dark Horse. I'm Bob Carskadden, and this is Our Plate. It was called Bully 2 back in the day, but when David Hood took over in the 90s, it took on a new personality and the name it's known by now. Simply, Dave's. Most spots in town are light, airy, and spacious, but Dave's takes you to another world with brick archways, low ceilings, long rooms, and flickering candles. They're known for their pizza, but the menu is as deep as their Chicago-style pie, with appetizers, burgers, wraps, blue plates, and more. Live music, trivia night, and some of the city's best food, Dave's is Starkville's dark horse destination. These fries look like they might be about my favorite thing. These fresh cut fries. Can I have one? You I, mind? Of course. I just want to try one out. A little ketchup, uh -huh. if you don't mind. What, 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 which one is this? I, get, I always get the La Nina, which is a veggie pizza. We're coming here, we're not too sure what we want to order. And we smell what we thought was buffalo wings. So that was the first thing we ordered. We had to have some and they're delicious. What, what do you have over here? I have uh, pepperoni, mushroom, and black olives. There you go, it looks tasty. Well, what are you getting for dinner? Are you eating a napkin for dinner? Appetizers are some of the best things. Oh, yeah. His pot stickers are amazing, his hummus is great, really good bar food. All right, now one of the coolest things about coming to Dave's Dark Horse is getting to meet actual Dave, David Hood. This makes me pretty happy, excited to hang out with you. Look, Dave's Dark Horse, this is Starkville's only tavern. It is incredibly unique. If you could describe Dave's to someone who hadn't been here, what's it like? Well, there's no other place like it. It's definitely a melting pot. Everybody feels welcome here. Live entertainment every night after 9.30 and great food before that. I, I, I like that. You, you told me when we were talking about it, it's magical. It is magical. There, there's some magic here. I like it. Whoever built it with these arches and the old brick and it has a Chicago feel to it. It's definitely, I loved it from the moment I walked in here. There you go. All right, let's talk about the menu. It is, again, like the building, unique in Starkville. It's got a lot of really good items. My personal favorite, the Rotel Chili Pizza, Steez, pizza Cheese Sticks. It's a mouthful, both literally and you know, figuratively. It's delicious. How do you come up with all the items you have? There's a lot of input from the staff. Uh, we, we try out products on the, uh, with the customers, and, and the ones that wind up being popular, we add, we add them to the menu. So what made you, this is Starkville, Mississippi. What made you want to bring a Chicago-style pizza to Starkville? It just seemed to make sense. You know, There wasn't one here. It's delicious. Um, my brother lives in Chicago, and he took me down to his local pizzeria, and the guy showed me his technique on how to make it, so um, it was natural to go here. Tell us what we're making today. It, the, the pizzas here are really what you're famous for. Uh, we're making the we're making a second city pizza. It's a stuffed Chicago style pizza. It has two layers of two layers of crust, one on the bottom, then all the toppings are inside. Then you, then you weave the dough together and put the top, put the sauce on the top. Then ba it bakes like a lasagna almost for a good bit of time. But you get some free bed sticks as you wait for it. There you go. I like it. Wait, let's go make it. Let's have some fun. Absolutely. All right, now we are back in the kitchen with the master of all of this domain, John Coker. Look, the thing I'm most excited for is eating the pizza, but second most, I want to see you toss the pizza. I'm really excited about this. Well, I'll be happy to toss the pizza there for you. Uh, what we're going to do step by step is make the Walter Payton from the dough process all the way to where I cover it, put it in the oven just like a pie that your grandmother would make, except it's Chicago style. There we go. Let's uh, go over here and we'll toss the dough. Through the magic of TV too, I've already rolled it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'll give it a couple little tosses. And that really stretches the dough out and that's gonna let me put it on top of the pan. All right, what we have here is we have our initial dough that we've, uh, we've put butter to and um, a spray adhesive that, that will uh, cause it not to stick, just, just like you would with any pie. And uh, we'll tuck it nice so it's got a good lip. Five minutes later, we have a Walter Payton. Hey, hey, hey. 
Now by the magic of Dave's, we have a 45 minute pizza ready in a little under five minutes, which I say is very impressive. That is magic. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what's up. Mm-hmm. Everything I wanted, Dave. Hearty, delicious, filling. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Dave of Dave's Dark Horse Tavern, and this is our play.